What's up y'all, this is Josh from Keep It Techie and today I wanted to show you guys the Tor command in Linux. So the Linux Tor command stands for tape archive, which is used by Linux and Unix systems administrators to deal with tape drive backups. Now the Tor command is basically used to rip a bunch of files or directories into a highly compressed archive file. And sometimes it's called a Tor ball or a Tor file in the Linux operating system. Now, the reason I wanted to do this command is because I'm setting it up for another command. I want to show you guys how to use the Z commands, which deals with working with archive files. And the Tor command is the most widely used command to co create archive files. And I've done a couple of videos on like the OrSync command. I typically use OrSync along with the Tor commands just to compress files and then move them over to a to a backup drive. So I want you guys to kind of learn how to actually use this. And in this video, I'll go down and show you guys how to how to use the Tor command as well as give you a few examples that could possibly help you while working in the Linux operating system. So sit back, relax, and let me go on and take you through this. Okay, so the first thing I want to do is go to the man page for the Tor command. So let's go on and do that. So man Tor and press enter. And let's go on and read the manual for it. Uh, so it says Tor and archiving utility. Uh, traditional usage, Tor, and then there are some options, and then arguments as well. Uh, and it says U Unix style usage, you can do Tor A option, Tor C, and I'll go through all these different options. Not all of them, but I'll show you most of the ones that I use typically on a daily basis. But just to explain a few of them, uh, C is basically for creating an archive. X is for extracting the archive. Uh, v is to show progress. Um, and F is for, you know, creating a file name or the archive file name. And it's a slew of others uh, that I won't go through. But I just wanted to talk about the most common ones and show them to you guys so you guys can understand how to use it. So let's go on and get started. I'm going to quit this, uh, quit the man page and go on and start showing you guys how to actually use it. So let's clear the screen. And one thing I want to do is go into a test directory that I have on my system. And let me ls this directory first. Uh, and I've used this directory before it has a a couple files and folders in it. Uh, so let's go ls as l a and press enter. And as you can see, I have a few files in here in a folder. And what I want to do is kind of focus on that folder. Um, I have a, I think one file up in there, but I'm gonna go through and show you guys how to actually create an archive. And the first thing you want to do is type tor. And then we want to use a couple of options. Uh, the first option is C, which is to create an archive. And then V, which is for verbose, uh, and that means it'll list out everything as you run through the command. And then F, which is to specify the file name or the name of the archive. So I want to use that sec directory folder, like I said. And then so let's type that in. I'm going to just name it the same exact thing. But the difference is I'm going to put tor on the end of it, dot tor. So that specifies the tor file. And now we want to specify the directory we want to archive. And what we want to do is specify the sec directory folder. And so if we press enter on that, that'll create that first archive for us. So if we ls this directory again, press enter. And if you check this out, this is the actual Tor file that we created. And actually, let's throw the H in there one time. And that way it'll specify the size in a human readable uh, format. But as you can see, it's 10K. And this directory is actually bigger. I mean, it's just whenever you look at directories, majority of the time they're 4K or 4.K. But it's just basically a file 
on the system and it's designated as a directory. That's why it doesn't show up with a size. But if we look in the set directory, uh, you'll see that the text file that's in there is probably bigger than, it's way bigger than 10K. Uh, so now it's archived though. So I just wanted to make that distinction so you guys can see. Now, let me go down and uh, clear this right fast. And the next thing I want to show you guys is how to create a tor.gz archive, which is basically uh, a gzip archive. That's what they call it. So uh, it's just another uh, way of archiving. So if we uh, scroll up, I'm going to go back to that same command because all we have to do is add another option and then change the, the name of the file. So let's start with changing the name, but you have to put tor.gz on the end of it. And then if we go back up to the front, you have to put another option in there that will specify a gzip archive. So let's go right here behind the V and put the Z option. So if we throw that in there and then press enter, this will create that gzip file or tor.gz file. So if we ls this directory again, so let's go ls-lah and press enter. And if we look at this one, you'll see that it actually is smaller. So it's 2.8K for that for that tor.gz. So tor.gz is actually smaller than the regular tor. So just wanted to point that out to you guys. So let me go down and clear because I want to show you another one which actually offers the highest uh, level of compression. So if we... Uh, clear the screen right fast let's go down and create the third one that i want to show you guys and it's actually a bz2 archive file so we can just go back up to that same command but we want to change that these options are actually let's change the file name first uh so tor.bz2 and which is the extension for a bz2 archive and then if we go up here to the options and what we want to do is take that z off and then replace it with a j so we could put that in there but the j option is what you use to create that bz2 archive so if we press enter on that um and then let's ls again and let's go lah again press enter and then you'll see the b2 the bz2 file right here and as you can see, it's even smaller than the tor.gz. So just imagine if that's a really big folder that we're trying to archive, uh, that gives you an idea of the difference in the sizes. So 10K and then the BZ2 file is 2.7K and then the tor.gz is 2.8K. So BZ2 should give you the highest level of compression, but just just so you know, it takes a while to actually archive the BZ2. So if it was a big file, it would have took a while to actually archive it. So time versus the size that is taken up, you know, that's what you have to factor in when figuring out which type of archive that you want to use. Now, let me go down and show you how to unarchive un these files. And the first one we want to start with is the tar file. So let's go down and archive it and I'm gonna I'm gonna name the folders the actual file so you can just see how to actually do it. Um I'm gonna extract them to a specific file. And the way to do that is simply by using another option. And I'll add that in there as well. Uh while we go through and unarchive the files. And so let's go down and uh unarchive that first one. So Tor and the way you extract the archive is by using the x option so you want to use x instead of c because uh, c is to create x is to extract uh, and then we can use the verbose option as well and then the file and then let's specify the sec dot tor file and now let's specify the directory we want to extract the archive to because I didn't want to extract it in the same directory because it's already got a file in there with the file that's in the archive. So I'm going to just create one 
uh, within the same directory. So if, if we go period uh, and then forward slash, this will specify within the working directory that we're in. And let's create a folder called Tor. And actually, I forgot to put the option there, but we have to put dash and then capital C. This will actually archive it to a directory that we specify. So if we press enter here, this will not work because we need the, so let me clear right fast. And what I'm gonna do is create a couple of directories. I forgot I should have done that, but let's see, make directory, let's go tour. Boom, make directory uh, GZ. Boom, and then make another directory BZ2 and press enter and let's clear again but let's go down and run in command again i'm gonna just up arrow that way we could do it and there we go so if we ls again i'm gonna just ls at this level uh boom you'll see that we have that tar folder there now so and this is where everything was extracted and i just did it that way so you guys can you know kind of see but i'm gonna ls dash lh that tour directory you probably should see that sec directory in there so sec directory boom and that was another reason i wanted to create some folders in here because um i'm not sure if it will but i think it will fail because there's it already has the exact same files in there so that's why i just in the original directory so that's why i wanted to create another folder or whatever so now let's go down and show you guys how to extract the tor.gz now it's basically the same exact way uh and you can specify gz directory and then um let's go down and put the dot gz here and that'll extract the gz one and then also it's the exact same way exact exact same command with same options the x uh for the bz2 file so if we type bz2 uh just change the you know name of it and then i want to extract it to the bz2 directory and press enter and it should have extracted it there as well so if we go ls dash lah and then let's specify that directory the gz directory first and press enter and then also if we look at the bz2 directory same exact thing so cool so let's go down and clear this up right fast now it's another option i want to show you guys and it's actually the dash t options and this will list out the contents of your tor archive and it doesn't matter which one uh the tor dot gz the, the regular tour or the tour bz2 uh it will list out the contents of each one of those archives so if we type in tour uh dash t and then let's just put the v and the f in there for fun and then let's specify that file which is the sec uh directory dot tour and then let's press enter and you'll see the files within that archive. So, and you can do the exact same thing for the tor.gz. Um, and press enter. And you'll see it shows the exact same thing as well as for the bz2. Press enter. And I apologize, I actually forgot the tor.bz2. That's why I got that error. But yeah, that's pretty much how you do it. It's the exact same command for each. So it's the T option. And you could put the verbos in there and then the file name. So there you go. Now there are a few other options out there like extracting specific files within an archive. So that's one reason I wanted to show you the list out the archive, the, the dash T option that will list out you know the file so let's say you want to extract the just a new file from this directory then there's the j option and i'm not going to run the command because but i just wanted to show you guys the command so if we type uh, j and then x 
and then verbose in F and let's say we want to specify something one of the files out of this archive then we would just specify that file and if we type uh, sec uh, dir and then let's specify that new file that's within there and I'm not sure this might fail because um, I think I have a file with that name in there well maybe not so let's ls this directory right fast let's go ls dash lah and press enter and if we look in here okay so i didn't have that file in here so this is this is that extracted file right here so that will extract out a specific file from the archive itself so you let's say you didn't want to extract the full uh, the full file structure or the directory you only want to pull out a few files or whatever then you can use this command to actually do it the J flag and then there are other options I don't want to go too deep um, but you guys can obviously start playing around with this command and just pick it up you wanna you wanna start with just the basics of it and then keep going with it and adding other options to it like they have a, a wild card option so let's say you had a bunch of files in there that were uh, text files and you only want to pull the .txt files then you can specify a wild card and this will you know pull out just the text files from within the archive so that's another option that you guys might want to check out but I hope you guys enjoyed the video please like share and subscribe to the channel I hope this helps somebody that's new to getting into Linux. Uh, if you guys want to support me, I do have my Cash App listed below, as well as I do have a Patreon. So if you guys want to support me, um, then those are the two options that I have currently. And just so you guys know, uh, the, the, any donations that I receive are actually put right back into the channel so I can produce great content for you guys. So as I say, please like, share, and subscribe to the channel. And of course, keep it techie.